A reflex is an immediate, involuntary, predictable response to a stimulus. The reflex arc is the physical pathway that's involved in the production of a reflex, and it always consists of the five components. A receptor detects the stimulus. A sensory neuron then sends sensory input from the receptor toward the third component, which is the integration center, typically the spinal cord in the case of a spinal reflex or the brain in the case of a cranial reflex. After integration, a motor neuron then sends motor output out to the last component of a reflex arc, which is the effector. If it is a somatic reflex, the effector will be a skeletal muscle. If it's an autonomic reflex, the effector will be smooth muscle, cardiac muscle, or glands. For each of the reflexes listed on your study guide, you must know whether they are somatic or autonomic reflexes. Somatic reflexes, the skeletal muscles are the effectors. They activate skeletal muscles. So, with practice, you can actually control somatic reflexes. Autonomic reflexes are those where the effectors are smooth muscles, cardiac muscles, or glands. These are not under voluntary control. If I shine a light into your eye, your pupils will constrict, and you are not able to control or stop that. For each reflex listed on your study guide, you must also know whether it is a cranial or spinal reflex. Cranial reflexes have their reflex centers located in the brain, and spinal reflexes have their reflex centers located in the spinal cord. For the most part, if you test a reflex above the neck, such as the gag reflex, or the pupillary light reflex, or corneal reflex, they're going to be cranial reflexes below the neck, such as the patellar knee jerk reflex, calcaneal reflex, um, and plantar reflex. Those are going to be spinal reflexes.